Welcome back to another episode of the Gold Coast Titans career mode on Rugby League Live 2. First game of today, we will be taking on the last placed Penrith Panthers. Did say that they were 15th on the um, on the screen just before, but they are last if you remember the ladder from last episode. This is a game that we should be winning. There is no way we're going down to a last place team. So here is our team. There are few inclusions, a couple of exclusions, mainly because of poor form or because of injury. But regardless, as I said, it should be a game that we are winning. Taking a look here at the Panthers team, they got some they got some real talent here. They got Lachlan Coote, James Roberts. I thought I saw James Seguiaro, but I don't think I did. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure why they last. This game's just weird. Uh, we're going to go out to the right there. A moment of hesitation from me with the uh, controls. Aiden Caesar up the sideline. Passes back inside to Takarangi. I reckon I probably could have scored with Caesar if I kept running with him. I'm getting so, so close there with Matt Schrama. Going upstairs to the video referee. Did the Panthers put me on my back or did I put the ball down? They put him on his back. That is excellent defense there from the Panthers. Like with, if I'm seeing defense like that, I'm not sure why they are the last place team. And as you can see there, red light from the video ref, no try. Schrama a little bit upset there, but not long after that, crossfield kick straight down the throat of James Roberts and he's off to the races. And Albert Kelly there, pretty much able to match his speed, brings him down, holds, holds him down a little bit just to get everyone back on side, but David Mead pretty much takes off Sukumanu's head with a high tackle. Panthers opt to take the two, and they successfully convert, and that's pretty much all the action that there is from the first half. So the Panthers go into the break, leading two points to nil, and I've got to say, it's not the best first half from us. Two errors there. Panthers playing error-free football. Um, I just... To, I don't know, I was expecting the Panthers to be a lot easier to score on, but I was mistaken. Here we go. Next bit of play in the... Well, first bit of play in the first half, really. A bit of a suspect pass there from Mead to Idris. From Mead to Idris? Idris to Mead, sorry. And Idris gets taken down on the 20. Matt Schrama spots a defensive lapse there. Streaks up the sideline, and he gets his first try of the season, and I think that's our first four you know, no why would i think that's our first four points it is our first four points i am an idiot but yeah cheeky little run there from Shrama. gets us our first try and can we convert here with sam Irwin? aiden caesar get, has been injured so no we cannot convert <laughs> um just not enough distance there it was on target but not enough distance um forgot to mention there didn't show it on the screen aiden caesar got injured probably about two or three minutes into the second half. Pretty, pretty annoying because he had literally only just come back as the Panthers here put in a grubber and it's going to get so close to them, but Dave Taylor cleans it up and even though we have to give up a goal line dropout, um, it's, it, that's a good defensive play from him. See, look at how close the Panthers came to scoring there. And as you can see, I think this is on there. Um, I think this is following the uh, goal line dropout. Um, the Panthers are going to come sort of close here. Roberts gets taken down and is 10 meters out. Bomb kick up here from uh, the Panthers and Ash Harrison is going to clean it up. Here we go. Idris to, I believe, I think that's Ryan James. And there's going to be a penalty there held in the tackle for attempting to strip the ball. And we're going to kick for touch, obviously. This should be good because the wind is behind us. It's blowing in that general direction, but it's going to be embarrassing because not only does it not go over the sideline, we give away a penalty, and we pretty much give a chance for the Panthers to come back and win this game. And here we go. You can see me panicking and like switching players, trying to stop the Panthers from doing absolutely anything. Nice pass there, out to Brad Tig, and Zillman's going to have to come off the line and stop him, which he does so successfully. He'll hold, hold in the tackle once again just to milk some clock, and on with that tackle on Clint Newton, 
it's it's over for the Panthers. We have killed their comeback. Bit dejected there for one of the Panthers players, but we win four points to two. Man in the match performance from Albert Kelly. Not the best game, but I will take a win no matter the margin. And as you can see here, we just got an email here confirming the injury to Aiden Caesar. It's going to be out for three weeks, which is kind of sucky because he. I'm pretty sure that was like his only game so far. But anyway, looking at the ladder here, we are in fourth position. The Knights have overtaken us. Um, I think that was just because of point differential or something along those lines. But hopefully we can regain third after this game against the Broncos. And this is another one we should be winning because the Broncos are struggling as well. Here's our team. As you can see, there's no Aiden Caesar in the lineup. I think I dropped Sam Irwin as well because he struggled at 5 8 as well. So it's going to be a bit of a different look, uh, Titans team here. And here is the Broncos lineup. Um, there's a bit of talent missing from the actual 2013 side. And so that might be why they're struggling as well. I'm not sure, but much like the uh, Panthers game, this is a game that we should be winning. I don't want to say that the Broncos are an inferior side, but it looks... Yep, they are, they've just shown why they're an inferior side there, because Matt Gillette has just lost his lollies there. Idris making a run at the defensive line, gets stopped in the 20. Don to Albert Kelly, and Kelly gets taken about 15 out. Takarangi with the offload to Dave Taylor. Taylor gets wrapped up about five meters out from the Broncos line. And things are not looking good for Brisbane here, but a very, very lucky pass and lucky not to get intercepted there. Um, that puts us up four points to nothing. Broncos are a little bit disappointed with that defensive effort. I don't know who that was that's just standing there. That's, that's Corey Parker. Number 13, that's Corey Parker. He's just standing there watching the ball float by his head. Absolutely no effort on defense at all from him. And that is not the Corey Parker I know. As uh, Jamal Idris kicks the goal from right in front to put us up 6 0. Here we go, still in the first half here, about 20 minutes in. Zilman is going to make a break and he's beaten the fullback. He's almost going to get to the line, but he's going to get held up and about five meters out. Trauma takes a run, takes about, I'll say a run, that was like two steps, and then he got wrapped up. Okay, and we are going to spread it out to the right here, and Miles is going to crash over. I think that's Prince or Wallace on his back. And we're going upstairs to the video referee. Perhaps he got put over on his back, and no, he did not. A bit of a late defensive effort there from, I think that's Josh Hoffman. Too little, too late. Nate Miles has grounded the ball, and the green light is there. That is a try from Nate Miles. Very, very rare to see him score tries. And as you can see, Gerald Yao Yi not at all happy with the defensive effort from the Broncos thus far. And a little bit of a tough kick here for Idris. I, th I did put that into the red, so I thought I messed that up completely. But nope, Idris boots it over. No worries. And as you can see, we're performing quite well here without Aiden Caesar. And are the you know, the game is, I was going to say, is the game going to let us play that ball? But unexpected quick play the ball. But Gordon is going to score in the corner after the siren sounds. Now, I wasn't really expecting that quick play the ball, but um, nonetheless, I will take the try. And that could have potentially, potentially been another um, intercept there. And that could have been the Broncos scoring that try instead of us. Another tough kick here for Idris, but I think he should be able to make this. Curls back around, and that's it. There we go. So we go into the break, 18 points up against the Broncos. And I have to say, this has been a fantastic half of footy from us. Probably the um, best first half we've ever had thus far in this series. So have a look at that. We're playing error-free football. We've got eight line breaks to the Broncos, none. And yeah, it's not looking very good for the Broncos here. They need to complete their sets, or they need to like make some sort of change here to turn their fortune around, potentially get back into the game, potentially even win it. 
We'll see if we can do that in the second half, or if we can keep the foot on the throat here. Zillman there with a terrible, terrible pass to Corey Parker, probably making up for his defensive lap there, but high tackle is going to reward the Broncos with a penalty, and they're going to get a try off the back of that penalty there. I think that was just a poor defensive read on my part. I was expecting the um, Broncos to pass again instead of putting in the kick. I think that was Peter Wallace putting in that kick. If we take a look at the replay, number seven, that's Peter Wallace, and David Stagg bounces, oh, not bounces, he pounces on the ball, rather, to um, get the Broncos' first four points, and I think that's Wallace making it four into six. So here we go, suddenly the Broncos are back into it. They're in with a chance here. Wallace, I think, with a kick down the sideline, and David Mead! The game just drew me into that ball and they made me catch it, even though it was like halfway over the sideline. And Meade ran it over the sideline. I was annoyed because I thought I'd just thrown that game practically. But so far we got some good defense here. Second tackle. See what can happen here. Bit of a inside-outside play, I think. And then Hodges with a forward pass to Maguire. He does not look happy there. And Idris out to Mead. Mead is going to streak away up the sideline. Could he beat the fullback? Tries a bit of chip and chase, and much like the kick before, he runs over the sideline. And that's pretty much going to be all the action from the second half. Titans pick up the win, 18 to 6. I was extremely happy with the result there. Wasn't too happy with Mead running over the sideline twice, and I wasn't too happy with um, David Stagg getting that try, but. All in all, it's still a win. Albert Kelly with another man of the match performance. And if we have a quick look at the ladder here, we are now in second spot and we are one game behind the Parramatta Eels, who have finally dropped the game. And just simulating here, the Parramatta Eels win 9-2. Disappointing effort from us, but it should be good. 